hug investigation following a vicious attack in southwest Houston. We've also learned this is not the first time the dog has been violent. ABC 13's Jessica Willie has been looking into this and joins us with what she found out. Yeah, those who live in this Sharpstown neighborhood call this dog a menace. They are afraid of him. Bark Houston, the city's animal shelter, confirms he has attacked pets and people twice now in eight months. It all happened so quickly. In just a matter of moments in her own front yard, Mari Perez went from carefree to survival mode. Next thing you know, when I looked, he was on my face. She was outside with her neighbor's dog, Fluffy, when out of nowhere, she says, this pit bull attacked. The pit bull was just attacking both of us. It attacked me. I'm trying to get away. And next thing you know, he's getting Fluffy. It comes back. Fighting. Her neighbor heard her screams. Workers then fought off the dog. Animal enforcement officers took it away. If no one came to help, I would have been dead. Mari suffered serious bites on her hand and foot and deep gashes on her arms. Fluffy is still in the animal hospital. This attack bad enough, but Bark Houston says there has been at least one other in the last eight months. A spokesperson confirms what a neighbor told ABC 13. The dog killed his dog bear. That's when a witness took this picture. Since it happened once before, Mari fears the dog will be released again to its owner. I just want the safety for the neighborhood. Bark says the dog's death last September did not warrant a dangerous dog declaration because the dog did not make an unprovoked attack on a person. This time is more serious. Bark says the owner told them he would sign over his rights. He told ABC 13 the same over the phone, adding, quote, he is not a vicious dog. I don't know what happened. Of course, I feel bad. Bark Houston says they've been pushing for tougher, dangerous dog laws. Houston leads the nation in dog attacks, at least on postal carriers. Mari has to have multiple surgeries now on her hand. I just don't want that to happen again. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.